going to be all about vacations and why I feel vacations are so important for you if you're a business owner if you're just a you don't have to be a business owner going on vacations are just beneficial so for me going on vacation is very therapeutic because as a business owner I feel like my mind is always super cloudy when I'm home, I just feel like all of my thoughts live in my home and they live in my mind. I can't stop thinking about the business. I can't stop thinking about work. I can't stop thinking about my everyday life. And I feel like when you go on vacation, whether you're just going to the next city, you're staying in your state, you go overseas, wherever you go, right? When you go on vacation, it's like your mind knows or like your body knows, hey, I'm on vacation, you know? It gives you an excuse not to answer customer emails. It gives you an, ex an excuse to not um, work on your business, right? It gives you that excuse. Yes, some people, we're just wired to just always think of these amazing business ideas and we're wired to just always think about our business, but just being on vacation gives you the excuse not to work. And I just feel like you need that excuse. You need it. You need that separation. You need to be away from the business. You need to be away from home so that you can have a reset. It's like a mental reset. You get more clarity. Um, your thoughts are more clear. Um, you're able to enjoy yourself, spend time with your family, have more quality time, um, enjoy life experiences. And I just feel like it's really beneficial. I'm going to be documenting while we're here in Miami. Um, this is Jaden's second time, but this is going to be his first time actually remembering the experience. So I know he's going to be super excited for that. Um, we're going to do a little luxury shopping. But um, yeah, I'm just going to be documenting the journey. I'm going to be talking about like my mindset, the things I'm thinking about. Um talked a little bit about business i can't get away from business and um yeah but we i have taken a shower mario's taking a shower Jaden's getting ready and we are going to head to south beach we're going to eat at the licking we ate there before we absolutely loved it it's dj Khaled's restaurant Jaden, he's a very picky eater but we know that he like fried chicken and we know that he like macaroni and cheese so <laughs> it's gonna be a thumbs up also, y'all, y'all probably noticed because you've seen it. You've seen it um, while I was in the bathroom, but I got to shout out a black business owner. This is a luxury handbag line or travel luggage accessory line by Glamaholic. I purchased her toiletry set and it comes with three of these. I left one of them home, so I only have two with me, but y'all look at how well made it is how pretty it is um just high quality so i'm gonna leave her link in the description box support a black owned business this is not sponsored i wish it was <laughs> i wish it was Uh -huh. Baby, 
baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be and live my life. Hey. Taking just a day and live my life. Don't take it personal. Hey y'all, so I've been testing out a new vendor y'all and this is the hair. Obviously I made it into a wig. So this hair comes from Vietnam. It is supposed to be raw hair, but because of the curl pattern, it obviously can't be raw. The hair has been steamed to have a particular curl. So I wouldn't classify it as raw hair, but I can tell that it's real. Like I can tell that this hair being cut off somebody's head, this don't have no fillers in it. But as I'm testing out the hair, one thing that's really important to me is like for the hair to be very easy to wear and very easy to manage. And this hair is huge. Y'all look at how huge this hair is. Like this is not wake up and go hair. Um, so it just kind of makes me think like my customers, they're not gonna be able to appreciate this hair because they're not gonna know how to upkeep it. You know, me, I've been wearing curly hair for so long. And usually raw hair, usually raw hair, it takes a little longer or not longer, but you have to do more to it. You have to upkeep it more. It takes a little more for it to be tamed. So, I don't know. It's just something that I think about. I always think about how easy it is to wear and, you know, make it look good. I believe I ordered a 20, um, 18, 20, 22 inch, but it seems like the 22 inch, it like, I don't know if you guys can tell, it seemed like the longest bundle is the only bundle that's that long and then all of the other bundles are just short, you know? I don't know if you guys can tell that. It's not like a, um, a regular layer. It's like the longest is obviously longer and it feels like it's longer by like so many inches. Y'all see, like it's not gradual. It just go from short, long. <laughs> These are just all the different things that I pay attention to. Um, I think the hair is very beautiful. Obviously, this is lace. So. I think the curl pattern is beautiful, but I don't know. The hair was very dry. The hair was very dry when I first got it, so I already had to wash it and let it air dry just so I could feel soft in bundle form. And I don't know, it just feel like this hair requires way too much maintenance. But we're going to go ahead and define this hair so it can look like something today. <laughs> While we were in the car, 
I realized I was like, this hair is just growing. It is getting too big. I'm going to need products. Like this hair is not going to stay tamed without products. With my virgin hair that I was selling, it was very easy. Like you don't need products. Water is good. Like you would be good with just water, maybe a little bit of conditioner in your spray bottle. But with this raw hair, sweetie. <laughs> You need products. So when we went to CVS, I just picked up two different products. The first one was the um, Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus. I really, really, really love this. Um, I've used this for a very long time, like years on like my natural hair. So I picked this one up. And then I picked up something different, which was the Aunt Jackie's. I've never, I don't think I've ever ordered anything from um, Aunt Jackie's. So yesterday, Yesterday I tried this Shea Moisture and I feel like it did really good, but by the end of the day, the hair was back to being how it wanted to be, really big and huge. Um, so today I decided to use the Aunt Jackie's and honestly, I feel like the hair is still gonna just get big because the natural state of the hair is big. And when you test out hair, it's just so many different things you have to test out. So many different things you have to look for. Um, does it shed? Yeah, it's been shedding. But it's in the brush though, so that just means more so like the hair broke off. The hair broke off while I was brushing it. So it's not really shedding from, you know, it's not really shedding from the web. The hair has just broken off. So, I mean, with curly hair, this could be normal, but at the price point I'm trying to sell this at, you gotta think about that. The fact that they're gonna have to buy products to keep the hair tamed, you have to think about those things. You have to keep that in mind. As long as the hair pattern, the curl pattern is very beautiful and it looks extremely natural, which is what I'm going for, I think that, um, that that will just be the huge selling point how natural and luscious the curls look but anyways you guys we are going to my favorite breakfast spot the last time we were in miami we went there and the food was amazing like the food was so good i've been dreaming about this food every since and the last time we were in miami it was february or march and it's august now so I've been thinking about that food ever since. So we're supposed to be leaving at 10. And it is 9.40. <laughs> Jaden is still asleep. And I'm gonna change into something else. Um, and then we're gonna leave. Skirt and tie shirt from Zara, you guys. But I don't know if you guys can tell. Not my stomach. Y'all see them stripes? That's my drawers. Y'all probably can see it a lot now. Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you Alright y'all, so we just left Rosie's and Roses is like a mom and pop. Would you say they black owned? Uh, I don't really know, but the people who 
we be in contact with blacks. So I don't know if it's black owned or not, but it'll be nice. If they cook their food. They put a lot of love in their food. They got some good chicken <laughs> to die for. They got some really good shrimp and grits. Jaden, you like the waffles? How did you like your food? Okay, he give it a thumbs up. Now we're about to go to the Gucci store. It's really, we're really going for Jaden because, yeah, we're really going for Jaden, but. I don't want anything from the Gucci store. Driving on the road like I'm the only one Shooting to the green, I talk a hole in one Bible on the dash, they with the holy one I know I put in work, they didn't notice none Switch gears, clubhouse, took me six years Marble floors, gold trim, feel like I'm Richie Rich Italian left, French sway, I mix the fist sick Quick claws, take a risk, we play for the win Hey y'all, so we made it back after a long day, okay? <laughs> um, I am tired, I'm ready to snatch off this wig and lay down. But I wanted to unbox the purse I got from YSL. So I did get it from the YSL store. All right, so I did get it from the YSL store. They have a regular black bag. Rick and where I moved there, people lay low. Took L's, know how those days go. Say so, he say, but nothing they know. Pesos, deals locked, it's like a case closed. Bank roll, different league, we don't use money phones. Trusting the artist, he's saying steady for it. Pray up to the Lord, he knows I'm ready for it. All on the earners, you know I'm heading towards Eyes on the Rolex, it's like a Chevy for it. Driving on the road like I'm the only one. Shooting to the green, I talk all the one. This bag is everything, y'all. Like, she is so mini. She is such a cute shoulder bag. I'm sorry, the lighting is terrible on her. She's such a cute shoulder bag. Also, like, she can be held like this. She is just cute. Hey y'all, it's Ebony, and yes, I am doing a voiceover. It's mainly because I never finished our, I never finished recording our trip in Miami, so I decided to just share some footage of when me and Mario was in Miami earlier this year. But really, I just want to come and talk to you guys about the importance of just going on vacation like even if it's just a different city in the state that you're in i just feel it is so therapeutic for you especially if you're an entrepreneur i feel like when you're an entrepreneur you're so used to working 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 all around the clock and most of the time we get so caught up in working and figuring out how to scale our businesses, we never really take the time out, enjoy the fruits of our labor. So yes, we work hard, but we deserve to relax. We deserve to purchase ourselves nice things. We deserve to still experience life. After all, we started our business so that we can have better experiences, not only for ourselves, but for our families. Personally, I absolutely love traveling. It gives me a peace of mind. It gives me clarity. I love when I'm on the plane. I love when we actually drive somewhere because within that time frame, it allows me to be still. It allows me to just sit down and read a book or listen to an audio book or just focus on what I wanna accomplish in life. What What is it that I want to do in this earth? It gives me time to just really focus on me, who I am as a person, where I want to be spiritually, where I want to be 
as a person as a human being that is just what traveling does for me and i just feel like it's extremely beneficial how do you guys feel about traveling leave a comment down below